Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey! Hi guys and welcome to today's episode. I was out on an adventure today and went to an estate sale and uh, ran across a bunch of neat little things. The, but what I wanted to show you today was mainly this, this box. Uh, it is full of three generations or roughly about 100 years worth of estate jewelry. Now, I believe it's mostly costume jewelry, that's okay. Costume jewelry can be fun too. But there's a big box of it here and uh, just kind of sorting through and looking at it. You know, I think there's going to be some fun pieces in here for us to check out. So uh, we're going to go over, Melissa and I are going to go over and we're going to dump it out on the table. I think that's probably the best bet and dig through it. Uh, and hopefully there's some treasures. Oh, there was another cool thing I picked up too. <laughs> I don't buy furniture that much, but I did buy this claw foot piano stool because it's like in perfect shape and it has this really weird coloring, really neat coloring to the wood. It's not a chunk that's been uh, replaced in there. That wood actually just really has, I guess it would have been put together at some point, but that's the way it was. Really, really neat. Anyhow, cool piano stool, hopefully cool box of stuff. We're gonna go dig through and have some fun. Let's go. Now, aside from the box of jewelry, there's a couple little things that were lying around the house um, that I thought I should pick up. One of them was this. She said uh, her husband used to be a watchmaker at one point, and that kind of got me excited. Uh, but they didn't have much for watches. She said, oh no, there was watches, but I took them apart and I made these collages for my kids. And I'm going, okay, well, I guess, you know, it's a bunch of gears and stuff thrown on there. I guess that's kind of neat. And then I noticed, what? <laughs> Can you see that? That's a Rolex Datejust that she ripped apart. <laughs> and glued onto this cardboard as decoration. You don't ever want to rip, even a, if it's just the movement of a Rolex, you never want to take it off. Anyway, I'm, I bought this thing just because if that's real, which I think it is, um, even just the dial alone and the movement and parts can be worth hundreds of dollars. Um, so anyway, <laughs> kind of a goofy thing to find uh, sitting there, but I'm gonna see if I can, uh, take that off of the picture and maybe salvage some of these things, including that watch maybe, and some of this, I don't know what type of glue she used. Hopefully I can reconstitute these for watch purposes again. And there's a big bucket of, we'll get to the jewelry in a sec, but I'm showing you guys the other stuff that was in there. This giant bucket of skeleton keys. These are always super popular. I'm looking to see if there's train keys. Sometimes you get a train key and it's absolutely massive, but there are people out there who buy old lock keys. And look, there's even an old padlock down at the bottom. I, there's a good chance I have the key for it here somewhere. And this is a kind of funny looking key. Olympic Winter Games, Calgary 1988. So it's a key blank from the Calgary Winter Olympics. Don't know what that would have opened. Maybe it's what kept the torch safe. I doubt it. Probably a novelty piece they sold. Anyhow, there's all kinds of keys and stuff in here. So I'll dig through and see if some of these, oh, that's a clock key right there. Fun stuff, really old house keys and skeleton door keys and stuff. A big bucket of keys. And Melissa is joining me. I'm ready to go in the box. Yeah, she wants, you want to look through the jewelry, but um, maybe let's unwrap that. We'll get some of this stuff that I threw in this box on my way out, out of the way. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Surprise thing it's again. really old, really old China. And yes, I'm doing this with one hand because frankly, the reason I'm not using a tripod is that if I do, then I, I sure I could bring stuff to the camera, but I can't move, I can't look. You guys don't get the same experience anyway. That is a very early piece of China. It's um, unstamped, but I've seen some of these pieces uh, that were imported into England that go back to the 1700s, um, like Amari wear and that. And judging by the way this is uh, formed and the imperfections, I would say that's got that's probably like an 1800s cup and saucer set. 
I'm gonna do a little bit more research on that. But look at that neat little set. Oh, and you can probably tell what this is, hey, Melissa? Yep. What is it? It looks like a shaving set. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. So we've got the brush. If this thing came to life in a Disney movie, it would be like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's where my brain goes. Anyway, nice um, Edwardian era, probably teens or 20s, I would say. Oh, maybe a little newer. It's Staffordshire, Staffordshire James Kent Limited, England. Eh, 20s or 30s, I'd say. Use that in your bathroom and have a straight razor and give her a go. Uh, maybe we'll grab like a baking pan uh. and we'll dump all this stuff out. Because this box, it's deceiving, but this is what I see. A bunch of stuff. And what I have to do is organize it because uh, the mission here is to sell all this stuff at the next uh, auction that we're doing. It's coming up pretty soon, actually. A bunch of silverware. But the question is, is it silver or is it, let's see, Holmes and Edwards? Is it silver or a silver plate? Because there's a big difference. It is sterling. So that's going to have value just because it's silver, let alone the fact that it's antique cutlery. But it looks like I've got pretty much the whole set in there. You see, that's got a big bag of silver silverware. Oh, that's cool. I know a lot of people always used to come in the store and say, oh, I, I've got my grandma's silverware. It's worth something because it's silver. And a lot of times it would say right on the back EPNS or electroplated nickel silver. And you'd have to break it to them that, sorry, grandma's silverware is just silver plated. This is sterling, which means it's solid silver. So you could actually, not that you'd want to, but you could just weigh that and figure out how much silver you have. Uh, okay. You want to, you want to dig into this, Melissa? Oh, hang on. Remember I said that her husband was a watchmaker? Look at, look at this. Look at this. Bits and pieces. And you might think, oh, it's just a bunch of junk, but all it takes is the right, the right junky piece. If you have a, uh, a dial or something that's off of a, a rare or valuable watch, then people will uh, pay good money for the right parts if it's for the right type of watch. So I will probably dig through this a little bit and see what we have while Melissa works on getting uh, green. Hmm. Anyway, I'm hoping that there's gonna be, luckily, you know, if that Rolex thing on the, if that's real, that'll be okay. But if they worked on Rolexes, there might be other parts in here. I'll, I'll dig through that a bit. What do you got? Uh, it looks like a crystal beaded necklace. That's actually pretty. Yeah, it is really nice. It's a triple strand. It's short. She said that some of this stuff might go back to the late 1800s, but it's mixed in with her newer stuff, so. Yeah, this is the same one, but in red. And in red, but how old do you think this one is? What the clasp looks? Uh, it looks newer. Well, it could be newer as in 1940s or so. That's a nice piece though. Melissa has grabbed a handful. <laughs> I couldn't wait, you guys, I'm sorry. Of things. So we've got uh, brooches. And I'm wondering if there's anything actually antique in here or anything of slightly better value. I mean, it is kind of just a, but oh, that's a hair clip, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll put those off to the side. That's a pretty fancy one. Little ring. Oh, these are pendants. Bracelets. It's got a shell inlaid into it. I'm guessing that's silver. Yeah, it's Mexican uh, silver. That's turquoise. Mm. Looks like it was glued to something or that plating's coming off. Another bracelet. This one. Oh, that's um, East Coast Petty Point under glass. Kind of neat. I'm not sure, is that a little bear? Yeah, uh, maybe a little mouse with a... Um, oh, yeah, maybe a mouse. What, wait, I can't remember the type of stone that is. Uh, opal. It's a little opal in there? You, but, think, it, you think it's real? Um, I'm going to say no, but it could be. 
a little tiny mouse with an opal tummy. Could be a bear, I guess. I think it might be a mouse. Now that you said mouse, it looks like a mouse. Yeah, hard to say. But if that's an opal, that'd be a big opal. I should check this for marks. I'm gonna set this one aside because if that's actual gold, it could be something a little bit better. I think these are silver. Actually, uh -huh. I yeah, it's, it's stamped inside. It's stamped silver? Well, okay. I see a stamp in there, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so possibly some silver bracelets. Did you show these already? I didn't show anything yet. We're going through it live. Well, when you said turquoise. Oh, this one. That, yeah, I was looking at that. So that's got little chunks of turquoise in it, and it's another. It's stamped. Some of these are from um, um, Mexico. You go like tourist pieces, and you can pick them up. But they are silver. This one's a little purse, and inside is a cotton ball. Oh, that's for um, putting perfume on. Yeah, or essential oil. Yeah. They have something similar to that now, but it's like a felt pad. And it looks like a fancy little purse. That's an older piece right there. That's going to be quite an old piece. It, look, it's been repaired. The The clasp broke off there, and then they re-soldered it on elsewhere. Don't know if that's real gold or not. I mean, it's hard to say because there's solder stuck to it, but that is an, a nice antique piece. Set that one aside. It's kind of nice. Whoops. Oh, you got it backwards. It's fancier when it's flipped around the other way. Oh yeah. Is it a certain type of stone? Uh, it's this. Onyx? No. Uh, no. Uh, hematite? hematite? Okay. I'm not, oh, it's a pin. But it's a little oh, cup. a little teacup pin. I wasn't sure what I was looking at. Hang on. Another, that's an old Avon piece. These little hematite earrings that go with that necklace. I mean, I'm hoping that there are some actual older pieces mixed in here because it did. She did say that there's stuff going back a few generations. This one's older. It's a tiny pin. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's kind of nice. Oh, well, that looks like an older piece too. It kind of has that Victorian sort of look to it, and it's an older style clasp when it's bent over with a pin like that. I don't know if it would have had a stone set in or if your cloth would have just shown through as a decorative piece. Sometimes you wore these up by the collar. Oh, what'd you find? Cufflinks, but I thought it was button things until Alexander told me. Well, cufflinks <laughs> are essentially just buttons, but it looks like They're that's cool. carved. Is it stone or? Uh, it looks like. It's not ivory, is it? No, it looks like mother of pearl. Mother like of the... pearl. Hmm. It's really neat. Oops. It's got a nice little box for yeah, it too. Yeah, that's actually an interesting little box. Little wooden, there's like a whole bunch of wooden jewelry too. And I saw this. This looks like a flapper girl kind of pin. It's, I don't think it's terribly old, but it is kind of neat. It's got all these intricate little beads on it, strung through. Oh. We've only emptied out one little bag out of that box, really, a couple of them. Yeah. Melissa found a turtle. A turtle. Cast iron incense burner, or maybe could for be. potpourri. Yeah, it could be. It's pretty it's neat. It's a jewelry box, but it has holes in it, so. Yeah, it's meant for, I think it's meant for. Something hot. <laughs> or, yeah, something scented. It's neat. Yeah, that's cool. That's heavier than it looks. People like turtles. <laughs> yeah. That's wanna, a, that's a very a, general comment. I like Pete turtles. I like people. I like people too. You do like people. Oh, more bags. Okay, let's see. I don't even know what that is. Brooches? Should I take it out or? Oh, maybe. Are those ears? Is that a It's pendant? a pin and earring set. So oh, I see. Set, the pin, a brooch, and then these are the earrings that go with it. Okay, well, I'll have a look at that while you're digging over there. Oh, Abby, I'll brought down some baggies for us. So we can organize. Actually, honey, do you want to help us organize too? Sure. Oh, those baggies might be a little too tiny though. Oh. Hmm. Might have to go. I had a whole bunch of baggies. I don't know what I did with them. Oh, I know what you did with them. I used them? No. Did I put them in the drawer? And then I put them in the drawer. Melissa organizes everything. These, right? Is that what uh, you're looking for? Yeah, or I had smaller ones like this, but either way, we'll start finding some baggies and we'll put them in. 
so we can start organizing and inventory and everything. We officially have like a little sorting factory set up. Melissa's going through the box, Abigail's getting stuff bagged up, and I guess I'm just filming. <laughs> I'm like the, the least useful person here, but I'll become useful when I have to inventory all this later on. But for now, we all get to have a little fun. What'd you find? Uh, this one might be an old ring. I'm not sure what that is on the... Oh, and it's like an agate. That has little roses on the side. Oh yeah, that's got some, that looks like a, an antique ring. Might be white gold even. I'll have to get my loop out and have a look, but that, you know, that's the sort of ring that you'd expect to be gold, or at least silver. It is tarnishing a little bit, so maybe silver. it's silver. Yeah. But that's neat. I'll put that with the other antique stuff we've been finding. So a few older pieces so far. Oh, amber. Are those little bugs in there? Uh, Might be, hang on, I'm gonna dump this out. Well, if I find a mosquito in one of these things, we might be able to make some dinosaurs later. <laughs> Either way, that's a nice little set of polished amber drop earrings and a little amber heart. Cool little set. Anything else over there of interest? Wow. I found something of interest to me. What? There's a... Looks like a silver ring. Oh. If you guys have seen, I have like a million of this variation of ring. <laughs> Would you like it? Yeah, it's super nice. Oh, well, you may as well hang on to it then. I'm gonna double check and see. There's gotta be some... Coventry. Some, oh, that's uh, Sarah Ann Coventry, yeah. but yeah. That would have been like, um, not like a Tupperware party, but kind of where like they come that. to your house. And... Yeah. No, it's still a nice looking piece though. Yeah, I think it's cool. And actually I had a viewer say once that they had this Coventry stuff and it lasted forever. I don't know how old that ring is, but it's still in great shape. So maybe it was decent stuff. Whoever bought it at the Coventry party. This is an interesting ring. Oh yeah, sort of like a cluster, gold tone, yeah. multiple little dots of color on it meant to represent like turquoise and... <laughs> I already went. It's, she's moved on. Melissa moves on, she moved on. I was looking at stuff, do it. Do we just decided to bring the trays over and have a look. So we've got some nice uh, crystal drop earrings and it has these really nice little details in between. So there's a pair of those. This, look, this is a chocolate box insert and there's no chocolates in here. That's your 1980s kind of looking uh, modern art or 60s even. I don't know if that's um, Bakelite or not. I don't think it is, but uh, there's ways to tell if it's actually Bakelite, and some Bakelite stuff is neat. That's kind of a cool little ring. Look at this ring. Whoa! <laughs> That's a standout piece, literally. But like when you're looking at it, it kind of just looks like... It looks like, like, an eye, it looks like a snake eyeball. I thought it was just tiger eye, like the stone, and then... You turn it sideways. I was surprised. You know, some uh, little earrings with the iridescent crystals. We've got to look and see if there's any Sherman in here. Sherman costume jewelry is substantially more valuable than your regular costume jewelry, mainly because the, the quality is better, um, the stones are brighter. That's, that is a nice piece though. It's very iridescent, very shiny. Can you imagine if that was all real rubies and diamonds on that thing? No. I wonder if the matching earring is in here somewhere. Perhaps. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. I thought it was clip on, but it's just uh... It just holds it on your ear so it doesn't yeah. fall off. There's lots of neat stuff in here so far. But let's dig through the rest of the box and see. Oh, you've got more crystal necklaces and so forth. Okay. And Abigail's sorting and making good work. You, you got a little pile going? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do a little digging in the box and look. I found something in here that's not jewelry. This is fancy antique pipe. Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. What does it say? It has a brand name on there. Bruvere. Hmm. It's got this nice little clasp on it. So you can open and close it and uh, air will still come through. So you can, I guess, walk in a windstorm and not worry about your tobacco flying everywhere. That's a neat piece. And I don't know, maybe this is just the case for the, uh, for the pipe. It feels heavy though. Let's see. 
Oh, there's another pipe in there with some gold looking detail all around it. I don't know if it's actual gold, but that's a fancy uh, Meerschaum style pipe. Yeah, look, it's labeled. It's an actual Meerschaum pipe. Genuine Meerschaum. And it's got this beautiful sort of carved detail around it. Unfortunately, it's had some repairs over the years and some of them not holding up very well. It may have puffed its last puff, but it's still a neat piece. And it's a real Meerschaum pipe, which is pretty cool. Nice little case too, how they do that. What did you spy? I saw you at the loop out a second ago. Well, I was seeing if there were any markings or anything on oh, it. Oh, that's nice. Is it hand painted? Um, Let's have a look and see. Sometimes if you tilt it in the light, you can see texture. the texture of the painting. Yeah, I think that might be hand painted. That's really quite nice. Very ornate on the back. A cool piece. While Melissa gets the loop put back together, she's trying to use it and the lens was off. I couldn't understand why it wasn't enlarging. I'm like, this is the worst loop ever. <laughs> and the glass was out of <laughs> glass it. Glass fell out. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know it's late in the day when. Oh, there's a little Ava. bundle here. More cutlery. But if it's actually sterling silver, well, stainless blade but i'm hoping that at least the uh but a lot of times even if it's marked stainless on the blade that doesn't mean that the handle is stainless it could have a solid silver handle so because i had so much other silver in this other bag i am going to want to check that over and make sure because i think what we might have is oh yeah you can see kind of very faint right there it says sterling so these are sterling silver handled, but they're hollow handled. So only that bottom section is silver, but still that's a nice set. And it's, I know it's hard to think of, you know, monetary value on something like this. Unfortunately, after years and years, many people don't use their silverware. They're, you know, you have to put chemicals on it to polish it. Um, people don't really want to have to go through all that hassle. So stainless steel is the preferred steel for, cutlery now and a lot of times these nice silverware sets end up just like these were wrapped up or in a bag but I mean that's still a, that is a very heavy bag of silver uh in fact maybe I'll get the scale before the end of this video and we'll weigh it and tell you how much silver there was there some good value in that anything uh, of interest over in this pile well, I'm just putting them in pairs but there's a lot of what have I not showing you yet well, there's, there's a little bit of everything in here. Oh, I think I see the most valuable thing here. Oh. <laughs> I put it aside for you. The pumpkin ring. Uh, what else is in the bottom of the box? Do you want to grab the stuff out of the box? Maybe we'll... Oh, I forgot there's baggies too. Yeah, there's baggies there's like, and there's a couple boxes. I forgot these ones. There's some little... Oh, some little ones. spoons? Sometimes these little spoons are uh, silver as well. They can be tourist spoons. But this is in fact... Girl Guides of Canada, which is like Boy Scouts, but for girls. So an antique set of um, probably plated or maybe silver. Girl Guide Spoons. That's pretty nifty. See that? And it's got the little Sprite. I see that. I didn't even notice it at first, but there's the little Sprite and the clover behind them. Neat. So a little baggie of antique girl guide spoons. This one is actually really cool. Okay. I look. have looked at this, but I want you guys to get the same experience I did. Da, 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 da. Oh. But look at how nice that is. And it looks like an older bag. You know, she said there might have been a carved ivory set in here. And I wonder if that's it. I don't know. It's. I'm going to set it off to the side. We'll check that. Well, let's have another, one last look at it before we okay. set it away. <laughs> You're like, this is cool. And then she instantly tucks it off to the side. The lady said that amongst all this stuff, there might have been um, her mother's carved ivory rose brooch. And I think that's exactly what this is. Um, you can't um, buy ivory anymore, uh, obviously. This one, Mackenzie, 1928. It says on the box, and I don't know if that's real gold or not, but that's a very fine little set. Very nicely done. 
And it is stamped. There is some sort of stamp on the back of it. So we'll have to look into that and see if that is um, gold. But what a pretty little set that is. What'd you find? Bum, 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 bum. Let, the box will tell you what I found. Oh, Ching. Jewels by Sherman. And it has the original Sherman box. Too. But I double checked and they're both, uh, they're all stamped Sherman. On so it's inside. real Sherman. Yeah, because anybody can put something in a box. But you can usually tell when it's a Sherman piece because look at it. <laughs> uh, it's very sparkly. It looks like it's good quality. What is it meant to be? Is it like a leaf on the left or? I don't know. It's a... Ooh, that's pokey. It's green and it's pokey. But you know, we have had Sherman pieces, nice older Sherman pieces like this, sometimes sell for three, four, or even $500 in Canadian funds each. Well, it depends on what it is. Depends sure. on what it is, and it depends on who's at the auction, but that is a pretty little set. Now, that wouldn't have been a set that's two sets together. Yeah. So we'll probably have to break that up and uh, sell them separately, yeah, but that's, that's a really nice. good find right there. That pretty much... Uh, I think that pretty well pays for the whole works right in that one little box and a little tiny box. Oh, so I, after the Sherman, I was expecting that, but boom. Oh, <laughs> just polished rocks. Yeah. Tiger's eye? No, that's petrified wood. Oh yeah. See, Melissa's much better at identifying stones than I am. I you can tell that has all the... Yeah, the grains and stuff yeah. in it. Well, it's still neat. Yeah. I was most impressed by that it came in a little treasure chest. Is that it? Oh, look at that, it's an empty box. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the floor. Oh, that looks like an antique piece. It's an interesting piece. I don't remember what that blue stone is called. That's lovely though. And it was in its own special little bag. Got more. This one says. That's compact. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's just to help you open it. Has the original tag, like it's still brand new from probably the 1950s or 60s. Maybe that's to open this piece. Oh, it could be. Yeah, and then you'd have the uh, the powder or, or what have you on the yeah. other side. Well, that's cool. And then what else did I take out of there? You oh the little baggies. It's tarnished, so it might be silver. Little Earrings, hoops. pendant. Oh, I, we had. Oh, I think we had something like that before. This is a really neat set. It's uh, Victorian scissors that actually open and close. There's a thimble and a tiny little case. But here's the thing that's neat about it: they're miniatures. They're itsy bitsy. Bet you didn't think that when I was showing that. It is the most tiny, microscopic, dollhouse-looking set of Victorian scissors. But what a neat little keepsake that is. How cool. Well, the watch parts did not yield any high-end bits. Like I said, even just having the face off an expensive watch can be worthwhile. Um, or gears or guts or whatever, they can build another one. But this is all primarily just good for crafting or scrap, which is, I think, what uh, she had planned for it. So no real gems in with the watches, but that's okay. Um, I got this massive pile of silver. We can't find the scale to weigh it, but I can tell you it's, uh, it's a heavy, heavy lot of silver. We got the Sherman jewelry, the pipes. I'd say we'll definitely get our money back on this lot. And plus, uh, Melissa and Abby will both got a ring they liked. Yep. Which one did Abby like? Uh, I think she made off with it already. <laughs> Abby all finished up with her duties over there and she ran off. <laughs> so a pretty good haul. I'll tell you, they filled up the whole table here. Um, now the real work begins, putting this stuff into auction lots and selling it off. I expect that uh, after I spent the $500 on everything here, that uh, we should probably about double our money on everything. It's just gonna take a little time to get it all sorted and ready. But um, yeah, we'll have it up at the auction sale soon, which um, I don't know when you're watching this video, but it's going to be coming up uh, middle of August at kauctions.ca, which is where I usually sell my stuff. So if you ever see something on a video that you think is cool, uh, generally that's the auction site that we're using. Oh, the other thing that we found, found a little chunk of solid gold. 
So that's a bonus right there too. <laughs> this a melted down whatever it was, um, chunk of solid gold. So pretty good score today. Um, we're gonna wrap up and call it a day, but thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed our unboxing video and um, stay tuned for more. We'll see you all soon and bye for now.